Hi, I'm Imogen for Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer, and I'm here with Helen O'Brien, who's up with show Broner's Big Weekend. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. How are all your shows going so far? I'm really enjoying them. Uh, audiences are up and down, as they always are on the fringe, but they're enjoying the shows, the ones that come, so yeah, I'm enjoying it. Great. So what is your show about? Could you tell us a little bit about it? Well, Broner's Big Weekend tells the story of a weekend in a teenage girl's life where she's at the Irish Dancing National Championships, she's a bridesmaid at a cousin's wedding, um, first kiss, first period, all on this one weekend. So chronologically, I just take you through this weekend, but I am an Irish dancer, so it, it includes Irish dancing as well. So how is it playing a teenager? Um, on uh, unfortunately, I can still remember quite clearly the discomfort and the awkwardness and the angst. So actually, I'm really enjoying that, kind of purging my teenage self. Cathartic? Yeah. yeah. How much of it is personal and actually true stories? Um, I don't think any of the stories in it were made up. Everything in it... Cool. Everything in it happened, um, not necessarily to me, not necessarily all on one weekend, but within my family. I've been collecting these family stories for quite some time and I've been wanting to put them together into a show for ages. So yeah, it's uh, we'll call it semi-autobiographical. I was never a dancing champion. Oh no! I danced in a lot of feshes and I won a lot of medals, but I was never actually championship. Level. Medals are still pretty good. Yeah, and, and, and plaques as well, the odd trophy. But you know, that I think that's me playing out my fantasy, actually making it to the championship. Have your family come to see it and said anything about the true story? Yeah, well, a lot of, um, I've toured a little bit with this and I've, I was at the Lowry in Manchester, so I'm from Manchester. And although my family are Irish, a lot of them are in and around Oldham in Manchester. So a lot of people came and a lot of people recognised the dad in it. And dad recognised himself as well. Was that awkward or was it fine? No, no, I think he quite liked it. So what's been your career highlight so far? I think the, the first... The first, um, the first performance of Broner's Big Weekend at the Lowry in Manchester because I'd never really, because I live in London and most of my gigs are around London. Whoa, <laughs> we're being attacked. <laughs> but um, so that was the, like a big homecoming for me, really. And at that first gig, I knew half of the audience. There were old teachers there, wow. um, kids from school that I hadn't really seen since. Uh, lots of family, like extended family, you know, second, third cousins who knew, even though I didn't say the name of the church, they knew which church I was talking about, they knew which priest I was talking about, they'd been to the same school. And there were even girls who'd been to my Irish dancing class there. So that was just, that was special. So how do you fill your days at the Fringe? What do you get up to? What do you love to do? Well. I just I can't seem to find enough time to see enough shows. I've yeah. seen a few shows that I've really liked, but I really want because I'm doing two shows and just little bits in between. Also, you know I'm getting on a bit, and Irish dancing knackers me out. I have to have afternoon naps. So do no, so do I. Because <laughs> I've got one show at lunchtime, and then Mrs. Manning isn't till eleven o'clock at night. So it's quite a big gap, and it means that I can't have a big fat lie-in. So I've got to take snatches of, of, of sleep here and there. Kip whenever you can. Yeah, but I, I like to sort of get out a bit and do something that's a little bit away from the fringe as well during during the fringe. So what kind of thing? Yesterday evening I went to Portobello to, to Edinburgh's sea, old Victorian seaside town. Yeah, so it was lovely to, that was like our little holiday. So just for a few hours we, we walked along the prom. and we Didn't go in? Didn't go in, no. What looked at it. Um, but then went into the Turkish baths. There are old Victorian Turkish baths there. I go there every time I'm at the Fringe. It's relaxing. It. That's a nice little tip. Yeah. Go to the Turkish yeah. baths. It's only a bush ride away. Nice. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for coming and talking to us. Right. Where can we catch both your shows? So, Broner's Big Weekend is at the Pleasance Courtyard every day at 12.50, lunchtime. And Mrs Manning is at the Three Sisters at 11 o'clock at night. Thank you so much for coming and talk to us. I've been Imogen for Waffle TV.